Hello from the Viral Academy in Oldenburg. Today we want to perform a transmission flush on this beautiful Mercedes. A 7G Tronic Plus transmission is installed in this vehicle. In addition to our flush machine, the Expert Gear Plus, we also need the appropriate Expert Kit, in this case the V302256XL. Briefly about the car. It has a mileage of 109,000 kilometers. I have now carried out a test drive and noticed that it shifts a bit late. Now we are about to do a fault diagnosis, take in fluid sample and then we have to adapt the transmission to our flush machine. On this vehicle we have two possibilities to connect the flush machine to the vehicle. On the one hand, we have a line at the front. This goes from the transmission to the automatic transmission oil cooler. Remove this plastic cap and then you can pull out this clip and disconnect the line. Now you can adapt with these adapters that come with the flush machine. However, not all vehicles with the 7G Tronic Plus transmission have the option of adapting to the front of the oil cooler. It is possible here at the transmission at any time. For this purpose we have a special adapter, the V991132. This adapter has to be disassembled and then you can use it. We will now show you how to do this. Here is the bottle for the fluid sample. A little additional information. There is the 7G Tronic and the 7G Tronic Plus. With the 7G Tronic Plus, as installed in this vehicle, the fluid is turquoise with a green riser tube. On the 7G Tronic, the fluid is red. And the riser tube is pink. The filters are also different. That is why you can't mix up the fluids or the kits. When looking for spare parts, always work with the 17 digit chassis number. Here we have the sample from the transmission. You can already see the clouding. Unfortunately, you can't smell it now, but it already smells very burnt and used up. The standard is to change the transmission fluid every 50,000 kilometers. Depending on the load condition, we also recommend this. Ideally, we flush with the filling quantity. We find this in the diagnostic tester under the technical data. For this, we have our expert kit, because it contains the right amount of fluid for flushing. Let's take a closer look. Here is the fluid. In addition, a new seal and a new filter. Important! These screws may only be used once. The right number of screws and new magnets are also included. Also in the kit is the screw for the transducer, but we don't need it for the flushing. Now we enter the change quantity and start the process. Here you can see the difference between the old used fluid and the new fluid. In the course of the flushing we will see how the fluid in the sight glass becomes lighter and lighter in color. The process is now finished. We can already see a clear improvement in quality here. Of course, we won't get it to 100% because there is still a bit of residual dirt, dust, deposits and particles in the fluid. But it is already very good. The next step is to change the filter. 
Now we catch the fluid from the transmission, measure the amount and refill it later. Here you can see the old dirty filter very well. Opposite this is a new filter. In addition, here we have the deposits on the magnet, which is totally saturated and can no longer absorb anything. Please only wipe out the oil pan and use a lint-free cloth. Please never use cleaner. For the new screws, please observe the appropriate torque. Now we have changed the filter and refitted the oil pan. Now we have to refill the removed fluid quantity and we do this with our flush machine. Now shift through all gears once and then check the fluid level. We do this here at a transmission fluid temperature of 45 degrees. The fluid level is checked at the fluid drain plug, where the riser pipe is, using the overflow method. When the fluid just drips out, we are done. Now the fluid level is correct. Now this is still dripping out slightly, and the fluid is right at the top of the riser tube. Now we take the new screw with the new seal and close the opening. Again, please remember the correct torque. Johannes, once again I'm doing what I enjoy most. What's that? A test drive. How was the test drive? Very good. I have the feeling that it shifts better and earlier. Compared to the test drive before, you notice a difference. As a result, we are now reducing fuel consumption and protecting the environment. We hope you enjoyed the video. Then of course give us a thumbs up. Do you have any questions or suggestions? Send us a comment. Remember, subscribe to our channel.